Come on, come on, baby. <laughs> May our bikes be faster than the cars. Wow, it's actually quite heavy. in the morning and it's the day after the first round in Austria. Oh, 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 goodness me! But today's a new day and we have been invited by Red Bull Austria to tag along to a very special shoot. So let's go to the track. Thank you. So we're here at the track in between the two Austrian Grand Prix. And we're not alone. We're in good company. Good morning, Alex. Good morning. How is? I am good. Lead the way. <laughs> you like my new thing? Oh my god, what is that? Micro or something like that. To get all the sound from your helmet? They need to say something to me. Ladies Come on. first. <laughs> Ow. Oh. <laughs> 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 So you're going to be racing a drone? Yeah. Okay, that's going to be interesting. So we're going to go check out the drone that Alex is going to be racing. So they're getting the bike ready for the challenge. So Ramon, how confident would you be in letting me ride the bike? <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> But we can try. <laughs> How is it to ride with the radio? <laughs> I hear noise, but not understand. No? <laughs> no, I need to stop the bike. If not, impossible. What are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is with the touching of the bomb in Los <laughs> We are, we are brothers. No, but it's true. Every time, every time you guys are going out on track, right? Everyone's just sort of like touching the bomb. Like giving love. Oh, come on, come on, baby. <laughs> Soon is about to begin. So, you saw it. We are riders. Some days we pretend to be actors. <laughs> it's, but it's fun, right? Do you like yeah. it? Do you enjoy it? It's nice. Well, Alex, thank you so much for letting us tag along. Thank you. Bye. Pero. It was really cool to get the behind the scenes look at a Red Bull shoot. And um, so now we have a few days off, so let's see what Austria has to offer. Just like the teams, we need a bit of downtime. And we would have hoped for very nice, you know, sunny weather for a downtime, but it's not the case. But we're still gonna make the best of it and we're gonna be going, all of the team and myself, uh, for a bit of rafting. We're gonna be joined by a new Red Bull family member that you're gonna get to meet really, really soon. Okay, so as you can see, we're here, we have just arrived and it's raining, but we're still gonna go rafting. And I'm meeting up with someone. And there she is, hi. Hi Vanessa! Hi Dominica! Are you ready for this? Absolutely, let's take cover. So welcome to the Rebel family. Hey, uh, thanks for having me. It's a really wet welcome, but hey, we're gonna make the most out of it. Have you done it before? I have done it before, but never in rain conditions. Okay, well that's not fair because I've never done it before. You're taking me the hard way. Uh, but we'll be gentle. So we're heading to the river, we're gonna get in the raft and we're gonna rock this river. It's heavy. <laughs> so, you the bump. <laughs> you know what? This is not easy. <laughs> also, push. And don't lose your paddle. Let's go.
pretty amazing day we've had rafting. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, so much you can see from the smile. <laughs> And you've also already had your first weekend as the presenter for the Rebel Rookies Cup. Yes. How did you like that? I loved it. So nice. It's so fascinating to meet the boys, meet the whole team and be part of uh, the Red Bull family. And I feel very honored and very happy to be here. And how did they do? They did really, really well. So on Saturday, we had three Spanish guys on the podium with Pedro Acosta was the winner. And on Sunday, we had exactly the same three Spanish guys with Pedro Acosta on the podium. So it was... It's a, like a repeat, yeah. A repeat of Saturday on Sunday. It was amazing. <laughs> and we're looking forward to the second round for the Rebel Rookies Cup this weekend. Here in Austria again. Yes. Yeah. I'll see you at the truck. We'll be heading to the truck very yes. soon. So see you this cool. weekend over there. Pass by by the rookies to come and say hi. Sounds <laughs> good. Bye. Thank <laughs> you. So it's been a few days since rafting and we have nice and sunny weather now. In the meantime, we have been tested for COVID and I'm happy to say we're COVID free. And now we're on our way to the track. Hello. Hi, thank you. thank you. And we're back in the paddock. Ciao. So we just got to the paddock and we just bumped into this green carpet that they're calling it. You see the green carpet? So basically the riders are actually interacting with the fans from all around the world since the fans cannot come to the track. They have found a way to bring the fans into the track and have access directly with the riders. So they're chatting away with the riders. So we're going to get a little closer. How's your dog doing? Bruce is great. Thank you. He's at home. Him and I, we sleep together the same. I think overall the only thing that it's really strange is the paddock, you know, because we don't have the fans around. The grandstands, you know, racing without fans, it's really like very different. It's, you don't feel that pressure of having, you know, everyone looking at you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you all soon. Ciao, ciao. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye. So we just finished setting up our truck for the race that we're going to have with the Rebel KTM factory team and the Repsol Honda team. We're one rider short right now. What? What? What's going on, Paul? That's gonna be a mess. <laughs> I've never been good in that. But this track is a little bit strange, no? It can go explain. both directions. Shall I do? Should I? Shall I do a quick recap and then I'll explain to Brad when he gets here? I'm here. So, Brad, <laughs> Stefan, Brad. Oh my God, Brad's already. <laughs> Hi, Brad. <laughs> Stefan! <laughs> Hi, Stefan, Brad. Okay, so basically, this is a relay race, okay? You need to complete three laps, and then you need to take the control there, and you need to disinfect it and pass it on to your teammate. Okay? okay? But remember, this is like Moto E, so they're gonna get slower. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the first two drivers yeah, in this but, but game. But how is working this? The quality is <laughs> unbelievable, eh? Thank you. <laughs> the budget finished, no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see the one in the Formula 1s? They race good cars. Exactly. What, what is this? One question, what do these do? <laughs> no, the Nitro. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! go! Oh man! Oh! <laughs> that was dirty! That was dirty, Alex! What is going on? Oh no, 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 These cars are gonna go flat, sure. Oh, go, oh, 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 Nothing, nothing. No, no, no. Hey, bud, we, we. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're missing oh, some power. Oh, Come on, eh? They won't be ready. I'm chasing. Who are you? No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 Okay, okay, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can move it, bud. No, it's not. 
So this this is the state of the track after the race. We have the podium or well, everyone's at the podium because there's only two teams. Prize money. The car. There is no the prize money. There's this, there's that, any. That, that race was for the M4, right? <laughs> so we won. No, 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 no. We share the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah, month yeah. you, one month me. But can we change the steering for South Africa? Alex, it's better you come to Germany because the out, you can drive more fast on the, the on the autobahn. This is this. So. Yeah. Okay, I call. Are you guys thinking that our budget allows us to, to give you an M4 by we, any chance? We, we yeah. thought so. Well, yeah, you obviously saved enough on the cars. So. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> we were racing for nothing? Yeah. You were racing, you know, for the glory of racing oh, ahead on. of the Grand Prix. Thank you for inviting me. It was yeah. a huge honor. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Anyway, ultimately, it was the Rebel KTM factory team that won this relay race, but we could have what? a rematch any day. They yes. won. They won. You're we won. We won. No, 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 no. Yeah. I agree. You what? were outside. No. You were outside no. the line. No, no, no. Oh, we are close the line. Everyone's a winner, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to a good weekend. Cheers, Cheers mate. May our bikes be faster than the cars. Just finished watching the Moto3 and the Moto2 races and what a race we have seen. We had we saw Tony Arbolino lead that Moto3 race, but it was ultimately Celestino Vietti who took the win with Arbolino in second and Ogura in third. In the Moto2 class, just when we thought we had seen back-to-back -back wins from Jorge Martin, he actually found out at the park for me that he got demoted because of exceeding track limits in the last corner of the last lap. So it's ultimately Marco Bezzecchi who takes the win in the Moto2 with Martin in second and Remy Gardner in third. Bonus Pargaro and Takaki Nakagami have done their best performance in qualifying so far in the MotoGP class with Paul starting from pole position for the first time ever and Takaki Nakagami in the second place alongside him in that front row. Unfortunately, Zarco will have to start from pit lane due to the penalty he's incurring from the incident from last weekend. Lights out and away we go. Great start from Paul Espargaro. That's no brakes at all. How many more scares in Austria does Maverick Vinales need? 12 laps starts now. A terrible start from Miller. This time it looks like he might just about do it. Paul Miller's got the inside line. He'll squeeze Paul Espargaro out. They rub knees. There's this also. This brings Oliveira into the picture. It's a last lap thriller from Thriller Miller. Jack goes up the inside. The chip explodes. Oliveira's going. Oliveira's going to win. It's going to be done. Oliveira wins. Unbelievable! What a finish! What a last lap to the... They can't believe it in Tech 3! Miguel Oliveira has won an unbelievable restart at Styrian Grand Prix! Here is your history-making first Portuguese man to win in MotoGP. Congratulations to Miguel Oliveira. It is a big day for the KTM factor here at their second home Grand Prix in a row. And everyone's here waiting to see both Paul and Miguel Oliveira after having the two KTMs on the podium but this is not quite the day started off because we've had two races. In the first race of the day we had John meeting with his Suzuki leading the race followed by Jack Miller and by Takaki Nakagami but then the race was red flag because Maverick Vinales 
seemed to have a technical problem that caused him to jump off his bike. The race obviously got wrecked, like then we had a quick restart and then we saw it was down to Paul and Jack Miller fighting for the win when surprisingly in the last corner of the last lap it was Miguel Oliveira who ultimately took the win. Which is crazy because it's his first ever win in his second season as a MotoGP rider. This is a very, very happy man, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe this is the happiest day of my life, you know. And, uh, Show us. You know, I've been here for almost 40 years and uh, I thought uh, it was going to happen. Yeah. And uh, to make it here. Yeah. In Austria, you know, in front of Red Bull, in front of uh, KTM, on a special circuit like this, in a special place like this, after all the drama of uh, race one uh, last week, uh, red flag, uh, yeah. racing incident, then another red flag this weekend, I thought, my God, it's never going to be our, <laughs> our day. And then finally, this was our day. I have to congratulate the team, KTM, Red Bull, but also, you know, Miguel to be so smart, to yeah. be right behind and knowing that uh, in this place, always something is happening in the yeah. last corner. And when I saw Jack and Paul together, I thought, wow, there is something to play. And, uh, you know, he took his, uh, his chance and, and he won. May I? Yeah, yeah of course. Woo! Wow, it's actually quite heavy. Oh, look at that. All I can tell you, it's going to be on top of the trophies I have in my office. That's going to be number eins. Oh, someone celebrating. Feeling dog. <laughs> so now I've got champagne, I've got Red Bull, I've got beer. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Cheers. Congratulations, Ole. Thank you, thank you. So that was it for the last round of the first triple header of this 2020 season. By the way, unfortunately, none of you got it right in the predictions, but again, it was really tough to predict what just happened here. So you'll get another chance for the first round of Misano. So leave in the comments below who you think is going to be on the podium in Misano in a few weeks time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to the Rebel Motorsport YouTube channel so you don't miss the next episode of Inside Pass. See you next time.